Hey test takers, David here. Uh, time to take on another reading and writing test question. So I can see this one's got a graph, right? So uh, I already know that it's a quantitative command of evidence question. Let's look real quick, see what the graph says, and then I'll read the question. So, okay, so cool. It's crop yields in Zambia in the 2010s, uh, metric tons of crops over here on the left, gear down here. Let's, let's look at this. While Zambia has a favorable climate for agriculture and the third largest water resources among the countries of Africa, only a small percentage of suitable agricultural land was under cultivation in the early 2000s. However, before a period of drought began in the late 2010s, increased investment in irrigation infrastructure proved effective in expanding Zambia's agricultural output blank. Which choice most effectively uses data from the graph to complete the assertion? So, to answer this question, I have to understand the argument and the graph. Uh, a drought began in the late 2010s, it says. But before that, Zambia's agricultural output expanded. So, uh, our peak here is 2016, uh, and then we see less output, right? number goes down. That's probably the drought. So we're looking for a choice that talks about the increase in crop yields across the decade prior to 2016. So choice A, crop yields increased from just over 1 million metric tons in 2010 to nearly 2 million metric tons by 2016. Let's check the graph. Is that true? Yes, just over a million in 2010. And yes, just under 2 million uh, in 2016. So this is probably our answer. I'm gonna put a little check mark next to it, but uh, let's check out the other ones just in case. Choice B, crop yields began to decline after peaking near 2 million metric tons in 2016. We know that's true from the graph, but that doesn't support the argument that crop yields grew prior to 2016. So this is not the answer. Choice C, crop yields fell back below 1,500,000 metric tons in 2018. That matches the graph, but it doesn't support our pre-2016 argument. So that's not the answer either. And choice D, crop yields were approximately 1,500,000 metric tons in both 2012 and 2018. And sure, the graph bears that out, um, but it's also not supportive of the things were improving prior to 2016 argument. So that means choice A is our answer. It's not enough for the choice to accurately reflect just any old piece of data from in the graph. The answer must be accurate to the graph and support the argument. Good luck out there. You've got this.